Hey guys, it's Steph, and today we are about to be trying out a new item that Dunkin' Donuts just came out with today, popping strawberry balls. <laughs> so here's the picture of them, their new strawberry flavored popping bubbles, and that sounds pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Popping bubbles. So you just like drink it and then a bubble goes up the straw and then you chew it and it pops. I've never had boba or bubble tea or anything like that, so this will be interesting. How are you doing? Hi, could I do um, a large lemonade with the new popping bubbles? Ooh, this drink looks good. Okay. And that'll be it. Okay, one moment. You can't see it. There's like a drink of sprinkles and everything. Okay, thank you. Maybe you saw it there. There's a drink with sprinkles here and whipped cream. Oh, I almost just like hit that pole. Maybe I did it. I don't know. It's hard to drive and drive through sometimes. Hi. So yeah, Crispy is still hanging out in my back seat. You can see him, he's on the floor. And I also still have this in my front seat, which I got a little chicken nugget to put on my keys. Thank you. And uh, could I get my receipt too? Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Um, and I got a little chicken nugget from the website Sheen and uh, I have it on my car keys but not I took them all I took it off for some reason I don't know why I did that oh because it was attached onto my air tag on my car keys so let's park and try this drink this is interesting they're just like at the bottom like that little fish eggs <laughs> I need to wash my hair. Tonight's a washing my hair night. And last night I went crazy on Amazon, you guys. Amazon Prime had like a Prime. Oh, this lighting. Eh. Is it bad? Sorry, I just squished you, Crispy. This is bad lighting. Maybe this is the problem. Oh, perfect. But yeah, Amazon Prime had like a Prime Day sale and everything was literally on sale. Everything. You could just search something and find something that was like on sale. So I ordered three speakers. I got a treadmill. Um, and I have a bicycle now too. So I want to maybe make like a gym in my basement or something. And uh, I got so much stuff. But let me try this. So that's what it looks like up close. And you get like a big honker straw. So that's how the bubbles fit. Oh, it's such a cute straw. Look at this big paper straw. <laughs> how cute. I want to break it because it's paper. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I'm a little, like, nervous. Okay, well, the lemonade's good. Okay, let's try one of these. Whoa, whoa, it just like dissolved in my mouth. That was really cool. Look at it. Mmm. <gasps> Wait, that's so fun. It just bursted. Wait, let me do it up close. Mmm, it tastes good. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all just coming up. Well, I guess because my straw's at the bottom, huh? Mm. Okay. That is fun. That is like a fun drink. I feel like there's not many down there, but I guess there's a decent amount. There's probably like 50 maybe. They're all just coming up, to, coming up in the straw. It's fun. So this is like what Bobo would be like then. 
these little balls. Let me look up exactly. My phone's on 2% and I can't charge it in my car because this car charger always says there's water in my phone and it won't let me like charge it. Maybe there is water in my phone. <laughs> Maybe there is. I take my phone in the shower with me sometimes. I'll set it on the ledge like for music so I can change my music. Um, and then I'll have like a little washcloth in there if like it gets wet I wipe it. And I've had it in the bathtub. I don't think I've dropped it in the bath. I've dropped my phone, my boyfriend's phone in the bathtub before. <laughs> I felt so bad. Okay, boba. Let's look up what boba is. What is boba made of? Boba pearls are made of starch that comes from a root. Okay, well, yeah, what is it? So it says it consists of tea and they're chewy. So here's a picture of boba if you guys don't know what it is. I'm sure everyone has had boba, but I have never. I don't know where to get it, but I know they have all different fun flavors and everything, so I would love to like try them for a video one time. But I have like boba slippers, even though I've never had boba. I just thought boba looks cute, and they're such cute slippers. There's like a little straw at the top. I think I've shared it on like my TikTok or something before. But yeah, Amazon, I bought some type of like hair weaver it's like three barrels like three big waves I've been seeing it everywhere so I ordered one of those because it was on sale I got two lightning chargers 10 feet which that's always handy I got three speakers because honestly I don't have a speaker and my, my speaker has to be on Wi-Fi and it's not just like Bluetooth or whatever um, so since it has to be on Wi-Fi I can't bring it anywhere but I got a little portable JBL and then I got a giant JBL for like loud music, you know, parties. And then I got a little Bose, so I'm gonna keep one like in my bathroom, one, you know. And then I can bring the little one with me sometimes, which I'm excited, I'm like, how have I not had like a speaker? And then uh, speaking, because I was talking about taking baths, that's why this brought it all up. Um, I had my, you guys know my big bathtub? It's so big so your feet can't touch like the end of the bathtub or whatever. So like once the water starts filling up, you slip down and you almost drown. <laughs> like I'll just be like laying up against the end and then like my butt slips and I like go under. <laughs> or my phone almost goes under. So I got like a little grip thing to put on the bottom of my bath. It's like little pebbles. I think I got it in white though so you probably won't see it, it won't stand out. And then I also got one of those trays so you could set like a drink or food, laptop, iPad, whatever you wanna do. Since my bathtub doesn't have like a ledge to just set your phone down on or whatever, so I got that. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. And then I also got two rugs. So I'm, I have one rug now, and then I have another one that I have to bring home with me tomorrow because I'm at home. This whole week I've been at home actually. I came home for Father's Day and just hung out saw with some friends and all that but I'll be going back soon one of the rugs I ordered I shipped it to their house on accident my parents and so that was my old address so I have to bring it with me I don't know if it'll fit in my car I'll have to like put my back seat down but it's like a big rug so I don't know if it'll fit and then I ordered two more on Amazon and then I should be good on rugs yeah yay now I just need like a table and a bed and some TVs, but I think I'm planning on doing that all next week and getting things done because I need a table. And instead of a dining room table, I wanted to do like a pool table. Like some of the dining room tables, you can take off the tabletop and it's a pool table underneath. But I can't seem to find where to get them, but I see them online, but I don't think they can like mail it to you. Uh, but I think that would be kind of cool because I don't, have like a family to be eating dinner with in the dining room and honestly my whole life we never ate in our dining room like we always just sat in the kitchen and then if you had people over or whatever we would set up tables or whatever because no one's gonna all fit on the dining room table unless it's like a big one I'm like a dining room is kind of like a waste I don't know I but I don't know what else I would make that room. Like, it needs to have a table in it. I can't just, like, put a couch. I guess I could. Oh. 
should I just get some love sacks? And then the dining room has like my little coffee bar. So it could be like a coffee bar, cozy lounge with love sacks. That would be pretty cute. But right when you walk in, that's like the first room you see. But it's also like, is anyone gonna care that there's no dining room table there? Huh, if you guys have any ideas for me, let me know. Or if you think I should just get a table. I mean, that's the plan, just getting a dining room table. But that's probably like the last thing I'll do because, you know, I don't need it. But yeah, should I change it into a different room? I wanted to put a love sack upstairs with like a TV and like my Xbox and my VR and like kind of have like a little game room, movie room. Um, so like to have love sacks downstairs too. I don't know if I'd sit in there. Hmm. I think that kind of sounds like a cute idea. Honestly. Living for it. Well. You could put these bubble tea. You could put these bubbles in like any drink you want. So you could put them in like coffee. The popping is so satisfying. Well guys, I rate this really good. Um, at first I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this because I'm not too big into like really fruity flavored things or drinks. So I was like, hmm, strawberry bursting bubbles. And then I'm also really weird with textures. So I'm like, hmm, bubbles in my drink? But I like it. It's actually really fun and I would definitely get it again. And Duncan's Lemonade is pretty good, but they should definitely come out with more flavors of bubbles. Like strawberry, what else could they do? Blueberry, blueberry would be good. I feel like a chocolate flavored bubble would be super good. Kind of like a chocolate milk inside the bubble. Cause then you could put that in like iced coffee. Ooh, do they have that? I feel like that might be more like the other boba things I'm thinking of, I don't know. Well, I would definitely get it again, and this was a fun little review, because I like it. I always like it when I like the item. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and also click my notification bell, so you guys always get notified when I upload next, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.